all right what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today man we have a video that i'm super happy about man i literally just came back i literally just ditched a class to make this video for you guys so drop a like on this video right now if you guys are excited for this fifa 20 icons content today we're gonna be the main focus of this video is to explain how icon swaps works i'm going to be doing that towards the end of the video so if you guys are just here for that go ahead and skip towards that we're gonna be going through the pitch notes uh that were released today shout out to man Corey zaro and Fit economist jamie man those dudes are literally our saviors but man i'm super excited for fifa 20 man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh for some fifa content man this year Good, man. But yeah, we're going to get into the pitch notes and uh, yeah, make sure you drop a like on this video if you haven't already as well. So, hey, FIFA fans, I'm Yasir Reshi, live producer on FIFA Ultimate Team, blah, 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 to kind of explaining um, the background of icons when they started and all that stuff. And the goals, communicate, communicate as clearly as we can about icons in Fit 20, encourage greater variety in squad building throughout Fit 20, which is always good, man. Seeing Hoy Vieira and Timothy Conte, um, and then Ronaldo, Messi, another Ronaldo, and then Mbappe, or Neymar, uh, just in every single pros team, or just every single team in general towards the end of the game. Bing and bland. I really hope you guys can hear me, because not... But, let me go ahead and uh, put down... Let me go... Yeah, okay, so the audio should be a bit better now. Uh, but yeah, to improve the accessibility and availability of icons, which is amazing for us who don't like to spend money on this game, man. With this said, let's get into how icons will be implemented in Foot 20 across the three platforms. So icon versions in Foot 20. Now, this is going to be the release chart, which means base icons and mid icons will be there from release. Now, I don't really understand why. I mean, I kind of do. And it kind of does make sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Uh, why are base icons only in packs for a couple months? And why are mid icons only in packs for a couple months? Now, the only thing, in my opinion, that would make this make sense is that the pack weight for all these are the same. If they are the same across the whole, all four promos, that's going to be great because then it would mean that moments are just as likely to get as base cards, which, in my opinion, would... Kind of makes sense, but at the same time, no, I'm not too sure. But base icons will be um, from early access, same with mid icons, all the way to December and then mid February, respectively. Prime icons come out um, in mid December as well, right when base icons do end. And then prime icon moments comes out when mid icons do end in the of February, all the way to the end of the game cycle. So those guys are going to be in packs um, for that. So that is the icon release calendar chart, whatever you want to call it. And then they kind of go ahead and break down the base, mid, prime, all things. That they Basically everything I just talked about, um, except they kind of just uh, cover their backs by saying there's this version often, but not always reflects an icon later in their career, a good career, whatever the highest point in their career or a moment. Now, the cool thing about this is moments it says, whereas base mid and prime icon moments tell the stories of an icon's career. This version focuses on truly memorable historic performance in an icon's career that elevated them to be one of the all time greats, which in my opinion is cool. It's amazing. Why? Because, let's keep reading, this version will be introduced into packs, whatever, this is the highest rated version, cool, all Fit20 icons will receive a moment item, that is huge, players like, for example, one that stands out in my mind, the first one that came to my mind, Phil Ferdinand, he didn't have a moment, um, I, last year people stopped using him because of that, people would rather use Maldini, Desai, whatever, uh, Van der Sar didn't have a moment icon, but his prime was still used, so all Fit20 icons having a moments item is actually Icon can have many moments throughout their story career. Previously released moment version in Fit19 won't necessarily be the same version released in Fit20. So the icon moments root hoet won't necessarily have the same dynamic image as he did last year, which in my opinion is pretty sick. Uh, select moments icons will be available in Foot Draft during the same period. I don't like that how they do only like ones just put all of them in draft man let everyone try all the all the icons they want and then with this release icon versions in and out of packs we have sought to not only encourage greater variety in squad building throughout also ensure there's a greater availability of prime uh prime and moments versions of icons on the transfer market once they are 
Axe. So, I assume this means pack weight. They're not going to say, oh, we've made the pack weight, uh, like, higher for icons. They're not going to say that, but essentially that's kind of what they're implying. But knowing EA, who knows, man. Another goal we have Fit20 is to make icons more accessible uh, to a wide group of Fit players. Uh, since Fit18, if I basically break down here the type of SPCs they've had in the past, like the singular work, the singular all that stuff and how we're using the icon get SPC packs back instead of trying to complete it but not which is what they didn't really aim for us when they try to release those SPCs so they kind of go ahead and break it down how they have reworked everything it says icons will not be used as requirements in as we'll measure the minimum quick sell it's going to be basically brought down by 40,000 coins. Um, and then specific guaranteed icon uh, pack SBCs will be released through Fit20, which of course we saw in 19. Well, so guaranteed icon pack 86, 85, 84 rated squad, get yourself a icon and there will be no individual or player pick icon SBCs released in Fit20, which is very, very interesting, man. That might be good for some people, bad for some people who icon swaps in Fit20. Now this is, the moment you guys have been waiting for. I am super excited for this, man. Like, I was in class reading this. I was like, you know what, man? I'm tired. I want to make this video. I'm going to go home, make this video for you guys right now. And then I'm going to go take a nap. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to break this down. I was so happy when I saw this in class. I was so hyped. Icon swaps in foot 20. Now, let me, can I make this bigger? Let me make this bigger for you guys so you guys can see. So let's do that. So icon swaps in foot 20 right below me. Alongside being able to purchase icons on the transfer market or find them in packs in Fit20, we are introducing icon swaps, a new way to allow players to unlock select icons in exchange for player tokens, which can be earned by completing objectives you exchange. You know how good that is? That's basically saying, hey guys, if you play the game and you complete these objectives, you're going to get a good card. You're, you're actually going to get rewarded for playing the game and completing the objective. Crazy. Mind-blowing. Such a simple su topic, such a simple thing that EA could have done before that they finally did. And hopefully it's executed well. It just sounds good on paper, but hopefully it's executed well. I think it should be. Uh, just hopefully the objectives aren't like insane hard or to the point where you need to spend like four months to do them. Like if you need to spend like one, two, three weeks doing it, okay, cool. Like if I need to get 400 goals with the Dutch player to potentially get like a Johan Cruyff eventually, and I have like three or four weeks to do it. Okay, maybe not three, 400 goals, but maybe like 100, 200 goals, something like that. In like three, four weeks, that's doable. It's something you work towards. It's kind of like NBA 2K where, or my team, if you guys, have i personally have been playing it just a little bit and of course you get these upgradable players the whatever it's called the i don't i don't know those players that you get like a lower version and once you score 100 goals get uh, 100 goals once you score 100 three pointers once you get 10 assists once you get 10 rebounds you get your player upgraded by four or five ratings this is basically the same thing but instead you get an icon Complete player token objectives, receive player tokens, redeem for icon rewards available in a swaps release. So, basically, play for tokens, objectives. You get the player tokens, you keep them until the icon rewards are put out in a swaps. Now, when are these swaps released? There will be three icon swaps released throughout the year. Each icon swaps release will contain at least 20 individual icons. Player tokens can also be redeemed for select guaranteed icon packs during each swaps release, which I don't know why you would do that because if you, it's probably going to be cheaper, which makes sense. Unless, see, the only thing that would make this make sense is if I can get three guaranteed icon packs, um, but they're random, then that would kind of equate to me picking one then i can get three amazing icons i can get three crap icons or i can get the one that i wanted so it's kind of it, it's kind of a gamble uh but it's pretty cool if it would be like that each icon swaps release will contain a range of icon versions each 
Oh, sorry, if an icon has already been released in an icon swaps release, it will not have any other versions released in a future icon swaps release. Icon swaps objectives will reflect the rewards on offer. Each icon swaps release will have a unique set of player tokens tied to it. So for the month of October, I believe it is when they release the first one. So yeah, icon swaps one will be released October 11th, all the way to December. So October to December, whatever objectives or tokens you get in that time period, you have to use it for Icon Swaps 1. You can't keep it for Icon Swaps 2 and then have like 10 tokens already and then you get five more and then you can get Root Hole in March. That's not how it works. Or sorry, in January. That's not how it works. It's locked specifically to that Icon Swap. Player token can only be redeemed in that specific basically it's not roll over exactly what i just said the player tokens will be released over the duration of each icon swaps release and similar to foot swap deals you will need to choose which icons you want to unlock based on how many player tokens you have earned now the only thing that i don't like about this same thing with foot swaps is the player tokens will be released over the duration of each icon swaps release why do they do it like that and I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm kind of just giving my opinion on this. So my time kind of complaining. Why can't they just give us everything and work towards it? Or at least give us like, for example, kind of going back to the 2K thing. Once I get 100 goals with a Dutch player, once I get 50 assists, and then once I get, I don't know, 500 passes, uh, once I complete those, give me like one token and then after that make the next objectives available so once i'm done with the first set of objectives go ahead and give me the second objectives and then i can keep going and going and going now it's ea and i see why they did this because of course they want to keep the users possible because if they make if, if they give you everything in one go you're not going to come back once you're finished <laughs> or you're going you're not going to spend money on this game once you're finished so they're going to keep you hooked by releasing everything from time to time, which makes sense. But I just wanted to say what I thought. Now, scrolling down, these are the icons that are going to be released in Icon Swamps number one. Now, who is the best from here? Honestly, these all these icons aren't amazing, and none of these are endgame icons, which of course makes sense because it's pretty early into the Now the best ones. Drogba is going to be great, honestly. In right looks decent. Says I don't know what his skills and uh, weak foot are, but he might be deadly. Michael Owen is cool, but not too great. Hadji might be decent. Gerard might be decent. Same with Balak. Ferdinand might be okay. Nesta, Zanetti, Roberto Carlos, in my opinion, aren't really worth it. Um, unless Edda, again, Pirlo not worth it. Keen, he's decent. Rivaldo, no. Giggs, no. Clivert, no. Crespo, no. Rui Costa might be an interesting one, and he might be worth it. And then these five guys down here, maybe Butrigueno might be okay, but apart from that, no. So, best icons here, I would say uh, Rogba, for sure, Sanchez, uh, Ferdinand, Balak, Rui Costa, and Gerard. Those are like the top six that I would personally go for, um, and they say... This runs from October 11th to December, and you can go ahead and get any of these icons by December if you go ahead and complete the objectives, man. I, I think that's pretty cool. And just one part of what we have planned for for 20 we're excited for players to experience this, and we are looking forward to sharing some uh, more throughout Foot 20. And yes, your Reshi just kind of signs out, and that is basically it. But yeah, man, some big, big news today. I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited to get grinding on this game, man. Drop a like on this video, guys. If you guys haven't already, if you guys are excited, make sure you subscribe, how I said, so you guys can keep up with the journey to get these icons on my uh, road to blank, which I'm not going to say yet. Two days away from the full early, or EA access, early access release, and then about three... Might be seven days. Seven days until the full release, something like that. But yeah, guys, this is Ralph in the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you. Hello. I'll see you guys next video. After this.